Vinny shaking hands. Let's check in with Quazy and Will. All right, well, great game out of you. Can you just explain to me what happened, what was going through your mind for this game today? All right, it was just a must win today. We've had a rough start to the season. We really needed that win, and we just, everybody came out, played their game, and we came up with a big W. Exactly. You guys got off to a very Next up, <laughs> You guys got off to a very hard start. Can you just tell me what got you off to that hard start? Oh, I just I saw one go in. It really comes down to that. Once I can see one shot go in, I start to get hot, and then I just keep shooting, man. That's it. Exactly. Well, shooting you did. We love the performance you gave off today. Hopefully, you can bring it on to the next one. All righty, big guy. All right, Will Aljansa, congratulations to him, player of the game. Here's the phrase, tweaked the offense a little bit. What kind of tweaks are we talking about without giving away any company secrets, so to speak? Well, whoa, Ooh, that's real that down Sorry, for you there a little bit. That's all right. Here you go. Well, we definitely made some adjustments. Didn't feel like we were playing, uh, you know, early in the year we thought maybe we had some 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 interior at big time advantages and we tried to build some offense around that and i didn't think we were getting the ball movement and and the decision making wasn't as good and the pace um, so we really emphasized those things this week and, and put in some actions that that kind of forced their hand to do that and put in some drills that that they had to, there was no shots taken for 15 or 20 seconds on the shot clock, and we were just zipping the ball and moving bodies. And so to sum it all up, you know, we just felt like the ball needed to move a lot better. We needed to get the ball inside to Nate some, but, but really it was the pace of all five guys working together. And I, I felt like we were missing that a little bit. And, and I think we've seen some signs of it here uh, this afternoon. I wouldn't say it was perfect. You know, shooting does a lot for you. Uh, when you make, but we got good looks, you know, and, and part of that was the pace that we were playing with. 15 to 29 from three. Certainly that's going to get a lot of people's attention. They're going to say, oh, they just outshot them. But really, you also look at it, 44 points in the paint. Really had the inside out. And when you get one part going, it makes it a little easier to get the other half going, so to speak. Without a doubt. That was one of the other emphasis was was getting the ball to the rim more. You know, getting into the paint we talk about in, in, in the three-second paint. You know, getting the dribble there. Whether we get it there from post play on a pass, an offensive rebound, or driving it, but we really emphasized the, the driving part, and I thought that was that was pretty evident in the first half. I thought we got downhill, as we call it, to, to towards the rim quite a bit, put them in some some tough defensive decisions, um, got to the line a couple times, got got some layups and got some kick out threes, and it, you know all benefits of driving the basketball downhill, and and then obviously when you shoot it like that, you know it's a lot of fun. Two other stats that jump out that you dominated. Coach talked about her rebounding was going to have to be big. You out-rebound them by double digits. You also out-assisted them, going back to what you just talked about there, with that extra pass and moving the ball. Yeah, without doubt. I think we had six. Did we have 16 at the half? Something like that, yeah. Um, and, and so... And, and really, we had seven turnovers. If we'd have taken away those live ball turnovers, we might have been up, you know, six or eight more points. We right. gave them some there in the first half. But but that's always been something that's been important to us in our program, uh, sharing the basketball. We always feel like if you get 20 assists, you know, you're, you're in really good shape. We ended up with 22 tonight. I thought we were going to get a lot more than that uh, at one time. But... But, no, we, we did a really good job of sharing it. I, I don't think we've arrived there yet. I think we got some room to grow. But I do feel like we're heading in the right direction now. I, I like the way that we, we had a really good week of practice with that stuff. And, and I think the, the, the buy-in is there. And I, I'm hoping that we can continue to see more of that extra pass, you know, passing up the good shot for the great, great shot, shot, you know, as they say. And, and, uh, and just better decision-making as a whole, and that's one area we do got to get cleaned up a little bit better. We talked about as the starters took the floor, unique combination of youth and experience. Yes, you got Joey and Nate out there, your two grad students out there, but you also started two freshmen and a sophomore in that process as well. And uh, talk about Will Edge. I'm, I'm officially calling him the thrill now, just for the oh, record. I like it. Um, and he really was that early spark, and we talked about it at one point that sometimes being a freshman you don't know what you don't know and sometimes that's a good thing yeah yeah they, he may fall into that a little bit but I'll, I'll be honest with you that's kind of how will plays like what he did didn't always make shots from the perimeter like that you know at that rate that he did in the first half but but that's how he plays he 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 is an ultra 
he, he's the ultimate competitor, I will just tell you. He, he never takes a playoff in practice. He's relentless to the offensive glass. He, and he doesn't say a whole lot of anything. When he gets fouled in practice, he just kind of plays through it. So he's a very physical player for a freshman. Um, I knew he'd have some more. He had a breakout game in game one, yeah. obviously. Against but this is the first time. This first time our fans got yeah. to really see it live. And I knew he'd have another one, you know, maybe multiple ones, just because he does it in practice once in a while. He just has a day where you're like, wow. And, and he, had, he had a really good week of practice, and I think that's what made Charlie make that decision of going with him in the starting lineup. Um, he gives us something just a little bit different, you know. Yep. You know, Owens is, could very easily start, but, man, what a great – you know, what a great thing. We can bring a fifth-year guy off the bench, you know, uh, it, that's got the experience Andrew has. and um, But but we'll just bring something a little bit different, especially, you know, his intensity and rebounding. Let's talk about the two grad seniors here a little bit. Nate was Nate. I don't think that's a shocker to anybody. Everybody knows Joey's been struggling a little bit with the confidence from the outside, hitting shots, and it was great to see him get on track and in rhythm. Yeah, oh, it's huge for us. You know, I, I, I know Joe, and, and it's I, – I've – it's hard to be, you know, you don't be mad at guys that are in the gym all the time and working at it. And, and, and Joe just hasn't shot it that well in the games, you know, but he's, he's still in here all the time working on it, working on it. So I knew he was going to break out of this slump. You know, it was just right. a matter of when. So I was super happy to see the last couple of games him getting, getting his three-point three point shot going. And the more we do that and the more we share it and got all these guys that can make perimeter shots, and if we start going by people, life can be pretty fun on offense. So we don't want to just be settling for all these threes. And, right. um, but Joe, Joe's one of those guys. he got a really good shot fake as well, and he'll be able to get into wow. the lane and, 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 and find some of his teammates. But, no, I was super happy for Joe to get back on track. All right, Coach, well, you got the home game on Monday and then off on the Florida trip, and this certainly is going to help the confidence with all of that. Yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> um, you know, been here, well, I don't know, 17 years or so, and, you know, obviously we haven't had a start like this. You know, and do I feel like we were probably the best one in five team, you know, that I know of? Yes, but your record is who you are, right? And, and so it, th these guys really needed it. I think we all needed it. Uh, getting back on track a little bit here, and hopefully we can gain some momentum from this moving forward, and and just keep getting better. We got a we got a tough Florida trip. Those two teams are darn good. Yep. Play one of them on their home floor, um, but you know what? Hopefully we're starting to to play better. We can hopefully turn around Monday and have a good game, and and, and take that momentum down there and, and see what happens. All right, coach. Appreciate your time. Congratulations on the big win. Thanks. All right, Dan Shardo. Appreciate him spending some time with us, and uh, that's going to start our wrap-up process here.